Hi everyone, welcome back today. So first things first, if you've already missed part one of this video, this is kind of part two, um, I recommend that you pause this video and go follow one of the links Follow one of the links up here or the link that is in the description box. This is kind of a two-part mini-series that I'm doing, kind of sharing the before and after of our new apartment and how we kind of take it from a simple rental apartment that is semi-furnished to something a little more homey and a little more cozy for us. So since I have moved a lot in the last two years, we've moved from Vancouver to France to London to here in Singapore. So it's been a lot of moving around, so I've kind of got the hang of staging and, and decorating on a budget. So part one, I took you on a mini tour of our apartment the morning after we arrived here. So it was just hectic mess, just as is how we walked into it, basically. This is part two. I'm gonna do a little Ikea haul. I've got my big blue bag here full of all our goodies, share with you what I bought. And then in a couple days, once I've kind of got everything all settled, I'm gonna run through the house again and show you how I move things around a little bit. I wanna get your hopes up too much because I didn't really change the furniture that much, just tiny little changes that for me make a big difference. Maybe it's the OCD, I don't know and where all this stuff ends up, as well as trying to incorporate a few little style tips, staging tips. Um, you never know what you're gonna pick up in these videos, right? That's why we watch these videos. You just, you pick up something you never knew you were gonna pick up in a video. So just to kind of give you a guideline of what we're working with, Ken and I spent about $200 yesterday in store at Ikea, and then I also purchased a few more things on Ikea, Ikea's website earlier today and I spent about $100 there. So in total we've spent $300 on <laughs> um, new things for our new apartment. So it's not that bad. We're gonna be here for several months and for us it's kind of an investment in comfort and I'm the type of person that's very affected by the surroundings that I'm in so it's gotta be light and bright and it's gotta have greenery in it, <laughs> otherwise I kind of go a little bit cuckoo. So as far as what I bought online this morning, I bought a white duvet cover, um, and I bought some tea towels, I bought a couple extra plants that I'm gonna put on the patio, I bought some little LED tea lights that I'm also gonna use on the patio, and a couple crafts. They're actually labeled as wine crafts, but they look exactly like a vase, except they cost $1.50. So I just need some sort of vessel to put my fake flowers in, and $1.50, those will work just fine. <laughs> Most of those things I actually did mean to buy in store, but Ken was just dying there. I was killing the poor boy. He hates that kind of stuff. He was really just there to help me lug everything around, but he was being a good husband and I could just see him like slowly dying. So I was racing around the store. I forgot a few things, but, but in terms of the things I did manage to pick up, <laughs> The first one is a bath mat. I went with this dark blue that was on sale for 10 bucks. It's a giant one. It's one of the big, big, huge ones. And I liked it huge, but I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on two of them. So what I did was I cut it in half and I made two bath mats. So they're about five bucks each. Nice and plush, fluffy, bright blue color. Those are gonna work perfectly for our bathroom. And then also for the bathroom, I got four of these towels. They were on sale for five bucks. The blue color goes perfectly with our bathroom. The bathrooms look a little bit, especially our, um, our ensuite, I think it's gonna look a little bit masculine, but I don't really mind that. I kind of prefer that over it being overly girly. But yeah, we ended up getting four of these for five bucks, two for us and two for guests, because I think my mom is likely to visit us. Vis visit us at some point. <laughs> and then we got two of the smaller one hand towels that are gonna go over the toilets. I think these might be going into our ensuite. Not sure, we'll find out later in this video. I went with yellow. I never buy yellow, but I felt like I needed a little bit of color rather than just all blue everything. There's a tiny bit of pink in the spare bathroom, so I don't know, they might end up there too. I kind of like pink and yellow together. And my favorite, the fake plants. I have bought so many of these over the year. It's I'm probably keeping IKEA afloat alone with these little green plants. They just they make such a difference in a room. If you can buy nothing else, just buy a couple of these fake plants and just one in the bathroom, one next to your TV, a couple on the patio and I mean you're good. <laughs> 
So I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five. I think I got five of them yesterday and I'm go I got three more online today. Those ones are all gonna go. The extra three are gonna go on the patio. And then we picked up a couple of the cheap pillows. They were 12 bucks. There, <laughs> there are pillows here, but they are very uncomfortable. They're like solid bricks. So investing 12 bucks in a couple new pillows for, oop, for some good sleep over the next couple months is certainly worth it for us. I did get this vase because I needed something really tall to put my big stem of eucalyptus. I've already found a good spot for that. And then we got Ken's, <laughs> Ken's potpourri that he insisted on having. It actually does smell really good. And I don't think I caught it on camera, but he said he wanted it because we're not actually gonna get a fall this season. We've had a fall every year of our life. This is the first time we will not have fall. It's gonna be 32 degrees when we're getting close to Christmas. So this is our fall. And then I picked up two white pillowcases that are going to replace the beige ones we have in our bedroom right now. And then I got two really soft pink blush colored um, pillowcases and the pillows to go with them there. These are the cheap ones. They're five bucks each. And then the cases, I believe, were seven each. I just wanted a little something to add to this couch here. The couch is actually like an army green kind of color, which I really like with soft blush pink. Um, I think that color combo is really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna actually double them up on one side of the couch because the couch doesn't have arms. It might look a little weird to have them flat against the back of the couch rather than angled at the arm in the back. So I think I'm just gonna double them up on one side and I think that might look kind of cool stacked up that way. Very excited for those. That's all we got yesterday. That's all we're gonna really need to amp this place up and then move the furniture around a little bit. And then I've got a few things that I have brought from our previous places, like the eucalyptus, my fake flowers, my little pink pastel jar that I had all my makeup brushes in before, pulling anything that kind of looks like decor and making it work. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend the next couple days kind of fiddling around with things, moving things, taking a look, moving it around again. And then I'm gonna film what's coming up next, which is the updated home tour. So let's fast forward a few days and see where all this ends up. Okay, first off, as a little disclaimer, I am sick as a dog, but I have to film this today because we have family coming for the next two weeks. So if I sound really lame and out of it, it's because I don't feel well. <laughs> and I'm on a lot of medications right now. To oh, and I'm still in my robe. I have gotten changed today. I've been half asleep on the couch all day, but so I apologize in advance if I miss anything or if what I'm saying does not make any sense. I'll try to clarify things in a future vlog. Off to the front door. <laughs> Okay, here we are again at the front door, and this is what the living room looks like now. I feel like it looks a lot more clean, a lot more spacious, a lot more flowy, much better to what it was before. I'll try to insert a few little clips of what these rooms look like before. So starting over here, this stayed where it was. I actually left Ken's bag where it was too, because I kind of like the brown in here. It just makes it a little more Look, makes the room look a little more lived in. And then the dining room table, I twisted it like I said I was going to do in the last video. I think it just makes the room feel a lot more open and I like having this big walk space through here. But because of that, um, it made it kind of awkward to have the two chairs on either end. So I put one chair here, which we use for putting our shoes on. And then the other chair kind of acts as the other side table. Not in an ideal situation that I would I do that, but um, am I making any sense? I feel like I'm in La La Land right now. This table, all I did was shove it down this way a little bit, same lamp. The couch is, like I said in the last video, I moved it back this way a little bit. As you can see, there's a little bit of an indent in the wall here, and for some reason they had it, yeah, I'm gonna just move in closer. They had this edge of the couch way up here, so there was like a good, three inch gap in the back here, which maybe it's just my OCD or what, I don't know what it is, but that just drove me nuts to be losing those three inches here because it is such a narrow living space. So I just moved it this way a little bit, pushed it all the way back against the wall, and then moved the side table nice and close to it so it's comfortable for drinks and whatnot. You saw that we bought these two pink pillows, which I really like against the kind of camo army green colored couch. I got a little $3 blanket here because Ken loves to blast the AC and and I'm always freezing, opposites attract. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take you up to the patio 
later in the evening when it's around sunset because I added a few lights to the back and I think that makes a much bigger impact than the greens that I put up there. So I think it'll show a lot better in the evening. So we'll go up there later. The console. So the console again was over this way a little bit and if you look where the couch was positioned, it was a little weird to have the TV all the way down here and the couch farther down this way. It's a little uncomfortable for viewing. So I just moved it this way a little bit, probably about a foot. I tucked a bunch of our cords underneath it and added a little green plant here, which as you know by now, I love them. <laughs> and then on this side, as I mentioned, I moved the table the other way. Originally it was going this way and sticking out into the room quite a ways. Yeah, not a dining room table that I would choose, nor are the chairs, but they are there. We're not gonna be replacing those, so we're working with it. And then I just left a few things on top of the table, just again to give it more of a lived in feel rather than leaving it completely bare. The little crafts are the ones I got for $1.50. They're the wine crafts that work perfectly for my little fake flowers. The bag is not the original shrimps one. It's actually only $36. If it's still available, I will link it because I know if I was watching this video, I would be staring at this bag the whole time. So if you're interested, it is linked down below. It's awesome. This is where my little um, wooden plate from my last place in London. I brought this with us and it just kind of holds change, keys, extra cards and stuff. So I think that's it for this room. Overall, I think, I mean, it's not a huge change, but um, it works a lot better for us. It feels a little more clean lined, streamlined, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I much prefer it to the way it was before. A lot less clutter. On this side, again, is the kitchen. This is where the two yellow towels ended up. I didn't like them in the ensuite with the navy blue. I don't know what it is, but it just reminded me of like Luigi colors or something, the navy blue and the yellow. Like it's like Mario Kart or something. I don't know, there's something about it I didn't like. So I ended up moving them here. And then I added my other fake flowers that I again brought from London with my $1.50 wine craft. And I think it all works quite well. I mean, maybe without the red, it would be a little bit better, but we use the coffee machine every day, so that's just functional for it to be there. I also picked up this little soap dispenser from um, a little Asian <laughs> dollar store, and I quite like it. It's just very simple, minimal, and very inexpensive. It just has a few French words on it, which is very fitting considering we were living there a few months ago. And around the corner is where I ended up moving one of those pink shelves. It's hidden away here. I thought it would be good for some sort of food storage of some kind, but because it's so hot here, we've had issues with bugs and ants. So pretty much everything has to go in the fridge, like really everything. So we haven't really used this space much, but we might when family's here when we have more food in the house. So yeah, that is the living space. So we have our first bedroom here. Obviously decluttered all the moving stuff out of here. And then I added the white duvet because family is gonna be coming. That's a fresh wash towel for them. I keep my camera in here. I'll move that out when they get here. That's the little side table that was in the master bedroom that I didn't like that much. I ended up switching the one that was in here to the master bedroom and then moving that one in here because I just, I don't like that one. I think it's ugly, so I just tucked it away in here. And then right now we have our laundry basket in here because there's no good place for it elsewhere but of course when guests arrive that will make its way into our bedroom and then the spare bathroom in the hallway here has actually become my favorite space something about this bathroom gets me really excited to have a house one day <laughs> so as you saw before there was a brightly colored floor mat here that i really didn't like so that's been tucked away in the closet i've actually moved all the spare stuff into this wardrobe here where i just keep all my purses pants extra luggage and shoes are down below here. And I switched it out for my navy blue one that I cut in half. It works perfectly here. We don't really use this shower. So um, I think when my family's here, we'll put it here for when they're showering. But for right now, we only really use the sink. Um, so I like it there. It feels nice and squishy underneath your feet. But I just love how this corner looks, these colors. I love it. <laughs> this is another robe that I bought recently and I, I switch it between this one and the one that I'm actually wearing because I use them as decor. They're a really pretty, beautiful textile. They also happen to function as a robe for me. Um, I think it adds a lot of interest to this room. So I just keep them rather than hanging them in the closet, I hang them up here on the little towel hooks. So I think that's a good little tip. It's just kind of look at what you already have in your house and try to use that as decor. If it's already there, you might as well pull it out of your closet and use it in your space, right? This is another example of 
um, things that I'm using. Obviously, I wear my jewelry a lot, but when I'm not wearing them, I love the way they look here with the pink and the green and the, the eucalyptus plant here. When I pass by this bathroom and I see all this going on here, it just makes me super happy. So I keep all my makeup here and then the rest of it's housed underneath the bathroom here. This is kind of my bathroom. Ken doesn't really use this bathroom, so I've kind of done it up for me. And the extra bath towels end up above the toilet here. I think I already mentioned that in the hall portion. That's my favorite spot so far. It makes me very happy looking in here. And then farther down the hallway here, we have the second spare bedroom. Again, this is going to be occupied by a family member in the next day or so. So I added the white duvet, fresh sheets, and a little plant here. Their fresh towel for when they arrive. And then this is all Ken's storage in here. And thanks to one of you genius people who suggested that I put one of the pink cubbies into the closet here so that it would be hidden away, I actually had it hidden in this bedroom here and I was strategically keeping this door partially closed like this so I couldn't see the pink. I was just doing anything to hide it. But someone said in the comments the last video, why don't you just put it into the cupboard in one of the bedrooms and it's perfect. It works wonderfully here. <laughs> and it's actually so much better for Ken's storage because he works better with this folded situation. He wasn't using these drawers because they're quite small. So thank you very much to... I'm sorry, I can't remember the name right now. I'm all drugged up. But thank you very much if that was you. <laughs> and I think that's it for that bedroom. And then the master bedroom down this way. As I mentioned, we got ourselves a duvet, the white duvet cover. We got ourselves extra pillows and white covers um, and then I switched out the little side table, added a green plant. I kept the plant, the lamp here because actually once I changed out the side table and added the green plant I kind of liked the way it looked all together here. Um, I've organized my closet here now. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video but this is all just storage stuff. I love actually the two-tone. I didn't think I was gonna like the two-tone of the bed here. I was planning on getting a white fitted sheet but then I thought oh I'm just gonna see what it looks like the white and the beige together and I kind of I really like it. It has like a spa feeling or something. I don't know. So I just fold the top of the duvet over here so you can see the brown and the white together and I guess it's maybe because of the, the curtains and the tones of the wall and everything. I just feel like it looks a little more interesting than an all white bed. And then coming back down the hallway for the ensuite bathroom, I originally bought those yellow towels to be here, but I tried them out for about a day and I just didn't like them. I kind of hated them. So they end up in the kitchen and I moved one of our spare towels here and then the other two hang on the wall here. I changed the bath mat in here as well before it was like that kind of giraffe spotted print brown one. Um, but the second half of that bath mat that I cut in half fits perfectly here and I really like the navy blue with the wood and the black and the white. Um, I think it works all really well together and of course I had to add a little green plant in here. But other than that we just keep it really minimal, clean. I don't like having too much stuff on the sink. I just keep it very simple and not too exciting. <laughs> Okay, here we are at the patio, sun setting. This is what it looks like now. I hope I haven't let the sun set too much, but you'll get the idea. <laughs> so as you can see, I did not add the giant green plant that I wanted to get. When we are at Ikea, I just couldn't pull the trigger on an $80 fake plant that I can't take with me anywhere else. So as much as I would love to have it up here, I would love to have one in this corner and one over here, and maybe one over here as well, but I just prefer to save that money for when we actually have a house and we can keep that plant for longer than a couple months. So instead I went with the little the little outdoor lights. This is two strings. I think they're about seven bucks e each from Ikea. And then I got a few of these tiny little, I think there's six of them, little outdoor candle lights that I got from Ikea as well. Of course I had to add the green plant here. And the barbecue we might actually be using for the first time tonight. Ken and my uncle are actually out at the grocery store looking for supplies to get the barbecue going for our chicken tonight. And then I added three little green plants over here, which you can't really see now, it's too dark. But I like the uneven, I always do things in threes when I can. And then I put two tea lights here, but to keep it not so symmetrical, I added them both in between one set of the plants here. And then I have another little string light over here. And then three more little candle lights. So even though I didn't get my big green plants that I wanted, I know I'll have those in a future home and I'll get to enjoy them for a lot longer. Um, I think this will be beautiful for us. We were up here this evening with the family having drinks here. We might turn on the other lights. We have other lights here for when it gets properly dark. 
that will turn on if we end up having dinner up here and cooking. But I think this just adds a nice soft ambiance up here. Very happy with it. We've been using this space a ton already, mostly in the evening because it's too hot during the day. But yeah, we love it. Gonna make a quick trip down to mom to see if she's still in the pool. Show you a little bit of that spot. <laughs> Yeah, mom's getting her evening swim in. Mom's our little fish of the family, so she's been enjoying the three pools. Doing her laps here, kids pool over here, and the adult pool on this side. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour. I am already so happy with how it turns out considering how much money we spent or how little we've spent. But I think just moving things around a little bit, um, decluttering the rooms a little bit, removing colors that distract <laughs> a little bit like the hot pink shelves and stuff, hiding those away in little corners um, and adding the green and little pops of soft pink make all the difference in a room. I think the spare bathroom is probably one of my favorite spots now, just putting the robe, the eucalyptus and the little bit of pink with mixed with the blue. I think it all just works so beautifully. It feels very spa-like in there. So it's kind of turned into my little girl bathroom in there. I'm sure I'm gonna be adding a few more bits and bobs over the next few months. So make sure you follow me along on Instagram. It's just at Andrea Claire. The first A has two A's in it. I'll put that link down below if you wanna follow over there. And I'll be sure to add little bits and bobs of updates, house updates and whatnot in future vlogs. Of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload a video every single weekend and then occasionally during the week as well, especially right now I'm pumping out so much content, I can't even keep up with the editing of it. So it's usually Tuesday, Wednesday, as well as on the weekend, the Saturday or Sunday. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I think that's it. I hope you like the new house. We love it here. We're very, very happy. Super thankful we found this place because we literally thought we were gonna be living in a box at the end of the month. So this is much better than a box. <laughs> but I really would have taken anything we were that desperate to find a house. So anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.